Uh, my name is Martin Gallagher and I am the chair of local, the local MENCAP Society, Midland MENCAP. Uh, there's Midland in the name because we have interests across the region. You'll hear a lot the next two or three days, I think, about uh, human rights and inclusion. Uh, I'm here today to tell you about some of the work we're doing, which gives a sort of a concrete expression to that. It's the actual provision of services on the ground uh, for people who need that support. Uh, currently, uh, we have services which cover all activity, all ages and all diverse groups. Uh, we run employment services, an area where we have, no one has made the sort of progress that we have in other areas and something we need to focus on. Uh, we've got substantial children's services, take people from a very young age with all sorts of abilities. Uh, we uh, run housing services, we've got quite a large interest in housing, uh, day services, and importantly we focused and developed uh, services pe for people with more profound needs, particularly custom developed bungalows where people uh, uh, are taken and helped to describe the sort of environment they would like to live in and the work is done to make the bungalow suitable for their needs. Uh, it's also the case that they are then helped to take part in communal activities and our staff will work with them and get to know them and ensure that their voices are heard in any future or current discussions. Uh, the whole organisation is uh, committed to empowerment and inclusion. We don't regard that as an add-on activity, but something embedded in the culture and DNA of the organisation. Uh, for many years, we've had a person with a learning disability on our board, uh, uh, this, by the way, is no token of appointment. The person in question has more than a little to say for himself. And uh, he's also become a member of our European hockey team. Uh, let me add to that by saying our, champion, our European Championship winning employment hockey team. Uh, they're now off to Barcelona where we hope to uh, actually repeat uh, that uh, uh, success. I think we've got a reputation locally for devising schemes which push back the boundaries of employment and inclusion. In that connection we were instrumental in creating a new organisation called Birmingham Cares. Birmingham Cares has a range of service providers uh, which to a central point make services available to people with a learning disability and their families. And much of that, this is done with IT, and I think we're just at the, the beginning of exploring the possibilities of that particular technological uh, 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 revolution. Uh, this year, Birmingham Carers, astonishingly, hopes to recruit 20,000 uh, subscribers. So we have access to people with a learning disability and their families for purposes of contacting them directly and potentially using them in campaigning for better services. Nothing more powerful than people who are affected by service cuts uh, advocating on their own behalf and we are there to help them to do that. Uh, we actually uh, played a part, or I think actually led a campaign last year when the city proposed uh, cuts to services, uh, lobbying the council house made ourselves a nuisance. Uh, uh, to, I think that we were actually instrumental in the local authority actually abandoning those cuts all together and setting out new programs. Finally, we're in a major partnership with Birmingham City Council, uh, West Midlands County Authority, Sutton Town Council and Sports England, where we're opening up 
uh, cycle rides to families and people with learning disabilities in Sutton Park, which is a huge park north of Birmingham. This is not simply to provide them with leisure, but actually to uh, improve their health, uh, make this a healthier group of people. You know that uh, people with a learning disability have had their difficulties with health. And uh, Birmingham uh, Royal Metcalf did a very good piece of work on death by indifference, and that whole issue has arisen again. Uh, I think I need to finish there, so thank you for listening. Have a great week. Enjoy an exciting program and the range of entertainments, uh, uh, some of which we're providing. I think I'll try and come and see how our DJs perform. Go and explore the city, and if you want information, uh, we've got uh, uh, people manning the stall out in the main concourse. So thank you very much for listening to me and enjoying it.